Next up, let's queer up the world view. Gay U.S. ambassador challenges Hungarian prime minister's anti-LGBTQ rhetoric. The U.S. ambassador to Hungary, David Pressman, delivered a poignant speech at, pri at a Pride event in Budapest this week, condemning Prime Minister Viktor Orban's government's discriminatory rhetoric. Addressing the LGBT community gathered at his residence, Pressman spoke passionately about their challenges. He has also highlighted the insidious nature of the fear-mongering tactics employed by those seeking to undermine democracy, while drawing attention to the detrimental impacts of Orban's policies. Pressman said, fear is something those who seek to undermine democracy trade on, and their currency is too often you and your families. Highlighting Hungary, Hungary's concerning alignment with anti-democratic practices, Pressman criticized the government's emulation of authoritarian regimes like Russia. He also revealed that his pl original plan to deliver the speech in Hungary's parliament was thwarted by a senior member of Orban's party. This shows the kind of hostility that is being faced by LGBTQ plus individuals in the country as a gay man raising two children with his partner in Hungary. Mm -hmm. Pressman's personal stake in the fight for equality was palpable. However, this isn't the first clash between Pressman and Orban. There has been a Twitter war between the two. You know, I, I started l l researching you know, Pressman and, and his history, and like, there's so many different aspects of the story. But the first thing I found interesting was he got his start within the State Department world of really getting noticed because Samantha Power brought him up. You know, she's someone from the Obama administration, right. and she talked about, you know, she didn't talk about how his work on gay rights, or the civil rights, how knowledgeable he was whenever dealing with an issue. So this is like a top tier diplomat that's doing this probably more on the career side, although I'm not sure than the traditional, like, you know, often a lot of ambassadors are like whoever donated the most money to a president gets to be an ambassador sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, looking at it, there was just... And he went hungry? I know, that's why he's more likely to be a civil servant. <laughs> not that rich. But you have two other things going on. There is this weird tension between Hungary and the West, and you're seeing that the United States is doing whatever they can to criticize. But unfortunately for the ambassador, you know, he speaks so passionately as an individual, but he's representing the United States. And if I was Hungary's prime minister, I could easily dismiss the United States and say, well, y your Congress and your president just signed banning pride flags at embassies. Who are you to talk about gay rights on, in another country? Mm. Just like every time we try to talk about human rights with China, they say, hey, let's talk about black people and indigenous people in America first. And then we always look bad because we do not always live our values as this amazing ambassador has been doing. Absolutely. Um, what I find also interesting is that to expect anything from Orban <laughs> is, is you've set a, an unreachable goal. I mean, he made a statement in 1992, I believe it was, or no, it was July of 2022, that he lashed out against mixed marriages of Europeans and non-Europeans, that it was not like morally acceptable. So his, his hate and divisiveness spreads weird one section but he's done that to his entire community his mm -hmm. entire population is being attacked by him if you're not just a european pure european which is you know not that much different than than hitler and stuff where you want to have the pure race if he's eliminating any kind of european commingling we'll use that word uh mixing <laughs> he's against yeah. it so we can only hope that hungary will do what our country did and when we elected within this kind of far right uh, administration that they it's their time to cast them out the way Brazil did and hopefully Argentina will do and hopefully we will continue to do in I November. <laughs>